Now, joining me in the studio is Ikipo and Larissa, who is the president of Warwick Anti-Racism Society. Some of you might have seen on Twitter yesterday and other social media outlets an incident that happened uh, at the university involving law careers. Um, Ikipo was the student affected in that particular incident. Would you mind just kind of giving us, thank you for joining us firstly, um, just a kind of a brief outline, because obviously people will have seen your Twitter, um, but just of what happened to you. Um, yeah, so thanks for having me. Um, on one day, I was in a career seminar um, with a member of staff from the law school, and um, she started off by saying to us, um, by talking about the disadvantages of handing in applications late. So she was sharing some like pretty useful information, and then she turned to the only two black girls in the room, myself and another girl called um, Michelle, and she starts... Um, saying to us that a law firm carried out some research and apparently the research was about how many days later black candidates hand in their applications compared to the average white candidate. She then turns to ask us if we are aware of how many days later. Obviously, we stare back at her mm. blank face because <laughs> we don't know anything about this. Um, and then um, she proceeds to share with the class that it is, in fact, 38 days later. At which point, um, you know, we're both confused as mm. to what, what point she's trying to make. Then she then proceeds to share with the class again that um, apparently she had a conversation with another black woman who told her that um, she isn't surprised by this statistic because apparently black people are generally laid back. And those were her exact words. And so, um, and so after, she, after she said that, she then turns to me and she asks me if it is true that black people are generally laid back. So she asked you no, she, in front of she, the whole... She asked me directly, right. like, you know, singled me out and then asked me um, if it's true that black people are generally laid back. And then I was really confused. Like I was just sitting there in utter disbelief as to what was happening. To which I responded, asking her if she was seriously asking me to speak for all black people. Mm. Um, and at which point, Michelle, the other black girl in the room, then also intersects and is like, what exactly is the point you're trying to make? So I guess she um, she sort of sensed that we were obviously unimpressed and starts mm. trying to backtrack a bit, saying that, oh, she's not trying to like generalize or anything. But, um, and that, you know, she's aware that there's prejudice everywhere and that women of all races um, ha um, have to deal with prejudice but that it is clear and this and now I'm using her words like mm -hmm. I'm not paraphrasing it is clear that um, certain groups actively disadvantage themselves and as a result it is a double whammy for us my goodness well, obviously, I'm very sorry that that happens. You can't believe such a thing happened. Larissa, obviously, you're president of Anti-Racism Society. It's not the first time Warwick's been embroiled in a kind of... Uh, obviously, the racist incident seemed to happen on campus. Last year, there was a massive incident, which um, I'm sure you remember as well. Um, what's your kind of reaction to this? I am appalled, but unfortunately, I'm not surprised. Like, It's just sad that black students have to go through this kind of mundane, everyday... Uh, microaggression of racism and it's something that we cannot stand for constantly mm. I'm having people at this university ask me about the attainment gap between uh, black students who are obviously coming in with high grades and are amazingly capable and it's this kind of activity that's happening that's brushed under the surface way too often and we need to address it as an institution it is an institutional problem mm. and um, obviously this incident that happened to you uh, the, the, the law careers events are something that obviously go on for a long time um, and I understand Larissa that there have been some students making similar complaints since this has happened because now they obviously uh, have remembered that something similar happened to them yeah, so we have had reports uh, coming into the Warwick Anti-Racism Society page saying that this same member of staff has in fact said these things since last term and other people have heard this in their seminar groups. And it's just so sad to me that this staff member has been propagating these ideas of this monolithic group of people when black people are as diverse and different and uh culturally uh, diverse as any other group of people and she in propagating this concept is being so damaging not just to the black students but she's also spreading this idea and these sentiments to other students in the room and the power of that cannot be undermined and just out of inter interest has there been a response from the university yet regarding this 
Well, today I received an email from the law school right. where they've like, um, basically detailed that they're currently investigating it. Um, I've also made a formal complaint to the university okay. because apparently they haven't made any comments because they haven't received any complaints. So I've made a formal complaint with like a detailed statement of everything that has happened. And I really just hope that this isn't something that, you know, we're all going to talk about for a few days and then it sort of, you know, blows over after a while. Like this is clearly, like Larissa said, this is clearly an institutional problem and it has to be treated as such. As much as I want the specific member of staff to be investigated, I also think like that there has to be an institutional wide um, review of how members of staff interact with students, specifically like when it comes to race, because, you know, this is something that could make or break a student's experience at university people of color really shouldn't have to be subjected to this sort of like, you know, casual racism. Mm. And also, have you received a, or have you seen, obviously there has been a response from the Students' Union. Yeah. Um, what do you think to that as well? Um, yeah, they've actually been really supportive. Um, Good. There's a member of staff in the Students' Union who has, who has actually helped me and like put me through the complaints procedure and has... Um, help me out with like you know submitting it to the university so that has been really good right and finally Larissa obviously an event like this highlights the importance of having anti-racism and an anti-racism society to promote and would you like to kind of talk us through I know you're actually on raw today but would you like to talk <laughs> us through again um some of the events you've got coming up and how people can get involved in the society yeah so Warwick anti-racism society will be doing lots of events because unfortunately this has happened during black history month but we're still trying to make it a positive celebration for students black students in particular um so we'll be at the be the change fair tomorrow uh we'll also be hosting a meet and greet next week so do come along meet our exec and know that there is a safe and welcoming space for students of color to come well to the both of you thank you very much uh for joining us here on raw